hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you are doing well so today in this video we are going to solve problem of the day on the geeks for geeks platform so today's problem is next write note so as usual first of all we'll be understanding the problem statement then the logic part and then we'll be proceeding to the coding part right before proceeding further to the video make sure to subscribe my channel it will really motivate me to create more such content for you and make sure to join our telegram community as well to stay updated with the job updates and the placement related information that we are putting on our channel and you can follow me on other uh, platforms as well the accounts has been mentioned in the description itself so let's get started with the problem statement now the problem says given a binary tree and a key in the binary tree find the node right to the given key if there is no node on right side then return a node with value minus one so that's what it is basically we are having a tree and we are having a key that is in the binary tree we have to determine the node which is in the right side of the given key if there is no node on the right side then we have to simply return minus one for example uh, let's say we are having this binary tree right now the key we have is two so what is the node to the right side of this particular key six right uh, six we do have so that's what we are having in the output we can see that in the our tree the next right node of two is six let's have a look on this example so here the key is five right so if you will see that we can see in the above tree that there is no next right node of 5 hence the output is going to be minus 1 so whatever task is we have to complete the function next right which takes root node of the tree and an integer key as input parameters and returns the next right node of the node with value key expected time complexity and auxiliary space has been mentioned so let's understand the logic that we'll be using for solving this particular problem so let's say we are having this binary tree right and here the key uh, is 2 so we have to find the element uh, right to it right we have to find the node which is right to it and if there is no such node exists then we have to return minus 1 so as of now you will see so here we do have uh, the node right to it which is nothing but 6 so the output for this one is going to be 6 so what approach we are going to use for this uh, for solving this particular problem we will be using level order traversal so for level order traversal first of all what do we need we need a queue right and to this particular queue what we're gonna do is first of all we're going to put put what put the root node so we have inserted the root node now uh, um, so what is the size of the queue now that is one okay so we're gonna pop this we're gonna remove this particular element this particular node right and we're gonna check we're gonna check what we are going to check this if this particular node value the node data of which we were having if it is equal to the key that we were looking for right if that is the case so what we we're gonna do is we'll be maintaining a variable of type node uh, node result initializing this with null and one flag variable as well so that let's take it as of integer type int flag equal to zero so this would be to keep track that we have found the key right this would be to keep track that we have found the key so as of now we do have 10 right so 10 is not equal to the key that we were looking for so uh, we are not going to do anything right so value of flag will be remain as it is now uh, what we're going to do is other than this we are going to insert the left left as well as right child of the of the node that we have popped out so like if they do exist so here you can see the left and right child of 10 exist so we're going to add two and six so these two nodes we're gonna add in the queue so now what is the size of the queue still our queue is not empty and what is the size of the queue two right now again we're gonna check we're gonna check the same thing okay so see as of now this this is not a strike right so let me uh let me write like this so 10 to six okay so 10 uh, were already removed it was already processed now we are uh we are uh, processing the level level zero level one level one right so at level one we have these two nodes two as well as six so now again we're gonna pop uh, the top that is at the front so we have two right so now for two if you will compare the value of this node is equal to that of the key right so we're gonna update the value of flag as one and we're gonna update the value of result result variable that we are having with that of with that of what this is the node right with that of 
of front. Let's say when we are popping out the node, right? So we are storing this in a variable front. So node front equal to Q dot remove. Okay. So front is holding what value? Two, right? And so for this node, the value was equal to that of key, that is two itself. So we updated the value of flag to mark that we have got the key and updated the value of result as well which is of type node to that of front so what is the value of result as of now that is two right so this node two is stored here okay now we do we need this node two no we need the element the node that is right to it we need six right so we'll be having one more condition in the same loop that we are having to process these nodes that if flag equal equal to one first of all it is important right that we have got the key we have got the key and other thing is, should be that the result value the result value should not equal to that of front right because then then see result value is what now the node two it is having and front is also having the node two but i don't want node two i want node six right so if that is the condition became true so we are going to simply return that particular node so as of now this is not true right now we are uh, remaining with this node at level one this is still yet remaining to be processed flag values at as it is that is it is one itself because it has been updated right so again uh, this condition will be true right you, you can see this time this condition will be true flag equal equal to one yes and front value updated to what six right because this time we are processing this this node that is having the value six right so flag values equal equal to that of one and also if you will see result is not equal to front because in front the uh, we are having the node six and in result we are having the node two so they are not equal so we'll be simply returning the value of result which is nothing but six and that's what our answer is so you can see uh, like that's how we are going to solve our problem right so that this was all about the problem this was all about the approach for this particular problem i hope that you must be able to understand let's have a look on the code as well so to get a proper understanding about the scene so let's see so here we are having the queue, right? And first we are adding the root to our queue. Now we have to continue in this loop till the time queue is not empty. So now uh, this variable we are storing the size of our queue just to keep track of the key if we have found or not and result, right? So now we're gonna have this for loop and it will continue till the time we are done with the processing of the nodes of a particular level. So int i equal to zero, i less than size, i plus plus. Now here we are storing the node that, that we have to process the front node basically now if front dot data is equal equal to that of key so we're gonna update the value of found as one right and also what we're gonna do is we are going to update the value of result right now this check is for because see i want to return the right part right so what the question says question says we have to return the node right to the given key right that's what the question is so that's why here i'll be checking that if found equal equal to one we have already got the key and the result the value that we do have in result that is not equal to that of front right so we are going to simply return front right otherwise if uh, uh, we're going to simply add the children of that particular node right so if front dot left not equal to null simply add it and if front dot right not equal to null simply add it right and see even after going through all this we were not able to get the answer right because see here itself we are returning if we are able to meet the criteria if this, if this didn't happen it means we have to simply return minus one so that's what we are doing here right so that's what the code for the logic that we discussed so i hope that you were able to understand it right thank you so much for watching this video i have provided the code in the description for the difference you can have a look on that as well in case you are having any doubt thank you so much everyone for watching don't forget to share and subscribe my channel Bye bye